BBC. A gentleman from London was very upset. I don't want this sort of thing in my house. To members of the middle classes, this sort of thing is an affront, and we don't like it. My friend here is having a fit. Please keep this kind of thing for the council estate and not into the homes of decent people. <laughs> was the 60s, the Middle Ages, some would say the Dark Ages were the early 70s, last year's punk rock explosion was the Peasants' Revolt, and today we have a renaissance. The post-punk age is upon us, and Britain is the centre of that world, or so I am told. <laughs>
Is there an automatic right that you have when you bring a record out that it should get played on Radio 1? I mean... No, I appreciate I think Cliff's latest single is a work of genius, a perfect pop song. But this lot are doing the same kind of thing. They're using melody and rhythm in a, in a hypnotic way, which is what makes a hit single. But because it's unsettling and slightly sinister and gothic, it won't be played, which seems a shame. <laughs> and the television people call the payoff. In other words, it's the thank you and good night bit. We hope you've managed to give you something else and something a bit more like the kind of television we all want to see.
icon sounds of the 70s, Alice Cooper, the New York Dolls, Patti Smith, Iggy Pop, the Ramones, Blondie, Talking Heads, and Bruce Springsteen. Next week on Sounds of the 70s.